Okay, we are now at the back left of the Mitsubishi IMEV, and this is uh, this is the high-speed charging port. This car had that option for that uh, level three um, high-speed DC charging. It's a little bit different style connector. Um, so what you got is up under the hood. There's a or a, well, it's next to the driver's seat actually. Um, is a popper that releases this. So that's just a little uh, you know a little spring pin right here. I think that the cars that don't have this option still have this door. It's just there's no way to open it. So if you want to jack that open, what you got to figure out is get something past here to jimmy this little thingamajigger right here. But uh, even though this was a flood damaged car, one thing that's kind of neat is um, these charge connections are actually sealed up with a gasket. So that's in absolutely brand new, perfect condition, no corrosion or anything like that. So that's ready to go. And I'll show you in a second where the other end of this charging port goes, because it actually does go straight to the battery. Now on the other side of the car, over here, uh, on the right hand tail, again just similar to a gas cap, you pop it with a little cable release which uh, unhooks it right there and then again we've got a nice cap which is uh, it's gasketed and grommeted so if we pop that open there's the J1772 connector and it is uh, shiny and clean and brand new um, so at this point what I'm looking at with the car is, is probably either selling the whole thing to somebody who has uh, one of these cars that was in a collision or otherwise I, I might strip it for parts but um, because of the cost of the battery pack replacement including all the circuit boards and everything that would need to go into that um, and the cameras come on focus focus um, it wouldn't be cost-effective uh, to rebuild it stock unfortunately but let's go under the car to take a look at a at a couple of other things uh, for one thing, people were wondering if it's uh, any parts of this were aluminum, and I've got a nice big magnet right here, a uh, very powerful magnet. So if we take a look at the car, um, go to something like right here, it's not magnetic at all. Um, so like right here, that's fiberglass. But if you look at the actual underneath the car here, it's a, it's a traditional steel body. Um, it's got a great paint job. Right now what it really needs is a car wash. But uh, I can stick this up on anywhere under here and the magnet's going to stick right to that. This is all, uh, you know, typical... Oops. This is all typical steel construction. Yes, I do have a magnet in a big chunk of white foam. Uh, but anyways, I, I didn't see anything under here that was aluminum. Uh, some of the early rumors on this car said that some parts of it were going to be aluminum. I'm not seeing anything that is aluminum. We're looking towards the rear of the car. So that's the whole drivetrain there. The, uh, um, the electric motor and the single speed transmission is kind of one big unit. It goes straight to those rear wheels. And these are the battery cables. I dropped the battery pack, which is what gives me room to get under here and see. And where the battery pack goes is it goes right up to above the electric motor. So that's uh, the inverter and the charger are up there. And then you see three cables coming off of it. So we got three phase AC to go to the electric motor. Now, these are the two main battery cables. But if you look, uh, and then that also goes up to that J1772 ties in with all that. But on the other side of the battery pack, these are the cables and they go straight to that... Uh, high power DC connector out there. They don't run through a charger or anything. So when you do that high speed DC charging, what happens is that that's a real charger. It's not just a connection going to a charger that's built internal to the car. It's actually an off board charger and that goes um, straight to your battery pack. So that's, that's why it's so effective is it's this high voltage, high power off board charger. So this whole thing I can strip right out but I don't know if this is interchangeable with all the battery packs or not. You would have to check that your battery pack has uh, both the power connection and then also it has this data connection on here that uh, goes up to the charger as well. So that's the view under the uh, back of the Mitsubishi here. And I'm going to get back to uh, testing out those uh, batteries and uh, possibly see about rolling this out of here and getting this car washed down since we finally have a, 
a nice spring day for once.